in the nominees by five months. To the Eastern Municipal Body, Canton System Board. Chair of the Council of Work. Thank you, Mayor. I move to uh, delay this for 30 days. Is that Council Member, I would respectfully request that, that you not do so because HMEPS has upcoming meetings and uh, we would have a vacancy on the, on the board. Um, the item is, however, uh, tag along. I would like to see, uh, in my thought, uh, both nominees accepted. Um, give the direction as I will take that direction. Council member, there are there are two in fact there are two council positions, uh, one of which both of which uh, need to be filled. Uh, one will have an active vacancy. That is this position. The other has a council appointee who wishes to continue to serve uh, and is will serve until he is replaced. We have a challenge with using uh, uh, the employee's pension currently because we believe they have taken a misguided and, and short-sighted interpretation of our agreement uh, as to which individuals from the public can actively serve on that board. Uh, we believe that it is important to have financial professionals on uh, all of our pension boards. Uh, their position is that, and our position is that financial professionals who do not do municipal work do not seek to do municipal work, but are very familiar with the workings of the market, are a value to the pension. Uh, the uh, HMF's leadership has taken the position that anyone who is, does uh, any time of financial services work uh, has a potential conflict of interest if their companies do any uh, work, even if they themselves do not uh, engage in this type of activity, and they have blocked those appointees, including Mr. Badger, who is currently a council appointee, from voting on items of uh, selection of uh, financial advisors and, and various things, and, and investments. Uh, we believe that hamstrings our appointees, and we have been in spirited discussion with the HMS about that. We believe that it doesn't serve the retirees uh, for them to take this position. And that is the reason that the other position has not been brought forward. Uh, Mr. Feldman, you're in negotiations about this spoken in any way? Or is there anything you should uh, add? No, ma'am. The um, problem that we have is that uh, HMEPS takes an overly broad view, an overly aggressive view of what constitutes a conflict of interest. And uh, given their interpretation, anyone who is currently in the business of uh, being a financial advisor uh, and advises on investments uh, would, would, would technically have a conflict. That, that was not the intent of the parties, but this is only an issue that we can address in the meet and confer process, uh, and it's it's um, taking time to do that. Mayor, I'll just... the, uh, in, in the, the, <coughs> I just want to interrupt you. The, the final answer to your question is: if uh, council members are, uh, as long as council members understand that, unfortunately, one of the two nominees. <coughs> will not be able to vote on the majority of the items that come before the board. And our goal has been to make sure that all board members that represent the city of Houston on that board are fully functioning board members. Mayor, let me ask you this question. Sir? July of 2011, the, we've all 
lost their term that expired. Here we have an opportunity in 2013, January, of having two capable nominees to be on the board. I am just trying to find the mechanism, the way to do it. And to fill the slots, they can vote, not necessarily sit the seat, but take the vote. That's all. <coughs> and if you give me directions, I will make that motion right now. But I got confused with other conflicts a few minutes ago. I will, I will put you back on the uh, key council member. Thank you. I'm, I uh, believe Councilmember Member Burks agreed to hold his motion for a very day delay while we That's true. Thank you. That's, that is the first. Yes. Council Member Green. May I not to tag this kind of? I don't have to tag. 